On our last episode of Pokemon Emerald, Merrick beat... Wh Jesse, what are you doing? Well, Merrick, I figure since I don't really have a character I get to be in this one, I'll just keep doing narrations like I did with Pokemon Platinum. But... <sighs> Alright, fine, go ahead. Thanks, Merrick. So on the last episode, Merrick took on the Rustboro City Gym. That's what he's standing in front of. And as you can see on the layout, he got that first badge. Didn't lose a single Pokemon either. Hey, don't jinx us. I'm... I'm not, man. I'm... Anyways... He had a rough time with that Mewtwo, but he sure took him apart thanks to Cotton Candy. Now he's got to go chase after that Devon guy and that Aqua Dude. Should be a lot of fun. Alright, alright. That's, that's quite enough. Alright, man. I, I'll, I'll let you do your thing then. <sighs> Greetings, YouTube! It is I, Merrick! And welcome back to the Pokemon Emerald Solok. Uh, as Jesse said, yes, on the last episode, we beat... We beat, uh... I don't even remember what Roxanne's actual name was. But, we got our badge. Uh, we still have no good encounters. We're stuck with, you know, three Pokemon. Who do we have? We have... Yeah, we have cotton. We'll leave cotton candy out front. I don't even know where those guys went. I don't think they went this way. Hey, there's this guy. Oh, it's you. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me. I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the Devon goods back. If I don't... I'm gonna be in serious trouble. Yes, because they can hold you accountable for a thief. I don't know how that makes any sense, but okay. Alright, Blastoise, can you friggin' not? Is he over here? No. Yeah. Where'd that guy get? Oh, what am I going to do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, but we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Rawr! Pico! Okay, so that was, uh, that was weird. What? Are you coming? Come and get some, then. Okay. <laughs> God damn it! Stupid Wobbuffet just had to get in the way. God damn shadow tag. Yes, get out of here. Don't you dare Destiny Bond or any of that bullshit. Alright, as I was saying, hello. Gah, heal haul and all. That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And I think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Hey, that's how I deal with my entire life, so I, I understand where you're coming from. Hey, you, Silence! So you want a battle from me? Well, I mean, I guess so. Let's see what you got, tough guy. Rocker Ann. Has an Alakazam! What the frig? Kinesis. No! There is no spoon! My accuracy failed. Oh, don't start this. Has confusion. Alright. Way to go, Cotton Candy. Just hit it again. Are you for riggin' serious? Cotton Candy, come on! Cotton for riggin' candy. Alright, we're gonna go with conversion. We should have just done that from the beginning. Snapped out of confusion. Use conversion too. Now it's a psychic. Well, now it's a steel type. Okay, that works. Resisting that confusion. I bet you're confused. The cotton candy is gonna kill you. Oh, yes. Look at that experience. Awesome. Ugh. My career in crime comes to a dead end. Kinda like your Alakazam. <laughs> this is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devin. <laughs> you 
what I got that badly. Just take it. Yay. Hey, get back here, you bitch. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe. Pico owes her your life. Owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny. And you are? Oh, so you are Merrick. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in the cottage by the sea, near Pedalberg Woods. Come, come, Pico. We should make our way home. Meow! Well, that was exciting and uneventful. Alright, so now we're gonna get right back to get... Get son of a bitch. Come on. All right. Son of a bitch. Oh, how did it go with the Devon goods? You did it. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know, as my thanks, I'll give you another great ball. Oh, gee, thanks. You couldn't just give me a master ball that would help me catch the things that are actually worthwhile in this friggin' game. Excuse me, please, please come with me. I don't want... Well, okay, never mind. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Uh, by the way, that parcel you got back for us, can I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slayport? It'll be awful if those robbers try to take it again. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, can I count on you to do that for me? Oh, that's right. Could you wait here a second? So many demands and favors. I don't do charity work. Uh, our president would like to have a word with you. Please, come with me. Please, go ahead. Uh -huh. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice! I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. Why? Why all the favors? I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateport's shipyard. Well, not... I didn't want to, he just wouldn't leave me alone about it. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen and Duford. I suppose so. Now, you should know that I am a great president, so I'd never be so cheap as to ask a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. Oh cool, we got a Pokedex. That device, it's a Pokemon Navigator, or Pokemon Nav Nav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check the locations of Duford and Slayport easily. By the way, I've heard that Sinister criminals, Magma and Aqua, I believe, have been making trouble far and wide. I think it would be best if you rested up before you go on your way. I mean, okay. Well then, Merrick, go with caution and care. Thank you for letting me leave. You're so generous. Don't mind me, I have nothing to say to any of you. Son of a bitch! I've been developing an added feature for the Pokedex. And it turned out great. Merrick, may I see that Pokedex? The one our president gave you. There you go, Merrick. I added a new feature named Match Call to your Pokedex. Using the Match Call feature, you can chat with people who have been registered in your Pokedex. Merrick, our president stone should be registered in your Pokedex. Test it out, please give our president a call. I like how the start menu opens like you don't have a choice. Oh, Merrick. Since you called me, the Pokedab must be working properly. Other people will be registered, so try calling them up too. Good, good. You seem to be quite happy. Hmm. How could I know that? It's because I'm looking down at you from my office window. Ha 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 ha! See you again. That's creepy. I want to leave now. Can I leave now? Okay, I'd better get back to work. Please take care, Mary. Alright, let's leave before they come back. 
new son of a freak! Oh, hi, Merrick. You had a match call feature put on your Pokenav. Let's register each other so we can contact one another anytime. I barely got my first badge and I already have a freaking... clinging girlfriend who wants my phone number. Oh, by the way, I passed Mr. Briny in Petalburg Woods. I guess he's on his way home to his cottage by the sea. How's your Pokedex coming along, Merrick? Mine's looking pretty decent. So, how about a little battle? Alright, fine. You just became a trainer, Merrick. I'm not gonna lose. Oh! Oh, so you think you're tough shit, huh? Alright, well let's see how you are, Jen Scott. Why? The Fering! How, how did you land a Super Sonic? You know what, I'm not even playing this game. Why do they always holy crit get in their cap? What the f- Are you serious? Are you friggin' serious? Alright, you know what, Kappa? Show this bitch we don't play. Or just slap yourself in the face. We really screwed ourselves over giving him this nickname. Get that garbage ass freaking Pokemon out of my face! A Lunatone. I have the perfect answer! Level 15, could you slow your roll? Has confusion. No, no! No! Why does it outspeed me? Why do you outspeed James Jr? Holy crit! Just, just kill this bitch! No, Scott, no! I don't want to hear a single fucking word out of you! Shut the hell up! Alright, so, uh, we're serious. We're down to two freaking Pokemon. <laughs> well, you tried. Goodbye, box. Hold on, let's switch boxes. What does it matter? Every Pokemon we catch is gonna go straight to our party, whether we use it or not. I was seriously just trying to get around her, 
is trying to go this way. Why did a Lunatone outspeed? I mean, I know it's a Bell Sprout, but I would have thought it would have outsped a freaking Lunatone. I mean, there's no such thing as a fast rock Pokemon. You know, not including Pokemon when they use a boost, so shut the hell up with that shit. Hold on, lass. Wait, wait, what was his... <laughs> Hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. Um, you're Merrick. You saved my darling Pico. We owe so much to you. What's that? You want to sail with me? Hmm. You have a letter bound for Stewford and a package for Slateport then. Quite a busy life you must lead. But certainly, what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to the right man, we'll set sail for Dewford. Dewford it is then! Anchors away! Pico, we're setting sail, my darling! I don't even know what the hell happened with his voice, it just kind of... went all over the place. Oh. My. Friggin. Rock. Oh, Merrick. Where are you now? It sounds windy wherever you are. I just heard from Devon's Mr. Stone about your poker nap. So I decided to give you a call. It sounds like you're doing fine, so that's fine with me. You take care now. Register Dad Norman in the poker nap. Alright, I better not get any more freaking phone calls. My phone is supposed to be on silent. I am busy. Ahoy! We've hit land in Duford. I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to... Who was it now? Steven? Dad... Uh, it was. How do you know that? Uh, I think one of these houses they gave you a fishing rod. Is it you? No. And I know it's not her. Could I be wrong? Is it you? This is a renowned fishing spot. Are you getting the itch to fish? Yes. I hear you, and I like what you're saying. I'll give you one of my fishing rods. Yo! And as an added bonus, I'll even throw in a little fishing advice. First you want to face the water, then use the rod. Shut the hell up, I know how to fish. Alright, that's Route 107. Wait, so we can get both of those encounters. It's gonna suck using the friggin' rod, though. Hold on, wait, do we have Pokeballs? Yeah, we have some. Alright. An Ursaring. Well, we don't have one of those, but... We aren't really going to be able to use it because of the, the thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to kill it no matter what we use. Go, Pokeball! And you had to hit five times, you stupid little bitch. Which is stronger, his special attack or his physical? His special. So let's let's try a scratch. It's not stab. We're only you know, nine levels above. Alright, so that should be better. I don't know if that's a half or not. What is with this thing? Holy shit, can he fucking stop it? See, if we had James Jr., we could have just sleep powdered it. One, two, three, click. Thank you for not being a prick.
In forests, it is said that there are many streams and towering trees where an Ursaran gathers food. It walks through its forest collecting food every day. Alright, well we're gonna name him... We're gonna name him Yogi. Alright, so that's another Pokemon we can't use. That's awesome. Another friggin' normal type. And obviously he was putting in some work, so imagine... Imagine how good he would have been if, you know... We got him leveled up to where... Cap and Con Candy are. Oh, we got a silk scarf! See, this is why you talk to people. Because now... Mm, well... Cotton Candy will get stabbed from Tackle, but look at the difference. No, we're not gonna give him a silk scarf. We do need to give him that friggin... Shell Bell, though. Shit. Yeah, we'll give him the shell bell. And we will probably give Kappa... The, uh... What the hell? What do people do if they need to go to a washroom? What if my rod hooks a big one while I'm in the washroom? I just can't go. Well, that's on you. Director Pie. As it told a pie. <laughs> well, it's about to die. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, so I'm trying... I don't want to catch any of the, the route Pokemon, because I know we can serve a guard spank. Oh boy. Uh, because I know we can serve. You son of a... Hmm, which do you prefer? Fishing in the sea or a stream? Uh, I don't care. Director Lawrence sends out a love disc. Just a love machine. Catch a confusion. Attack harshly dead. Okay, confusion. Oh, this Nuzlocke is freaking terrible. Assyria. Nope, not even gonna bother changing. Level 7. So, uh, tonight, I, I, I got uh, a phone call, I think it was yesterday, uh, from Pro Bartley. He was like, hey, do you want to go to the freaking Pokemon Midnight release? And I was like, oh, hell yeah, let's freaking do it. So, that, I, that'll be our question of the day, is, are you going to a Midnight release for Sun and Moon? Is, are they even having one in your area? I mean, they are us, I don't know what they're gonna do, if we're gonna do anything cool. Uh, except, you know, hopefully Pokemon-related stuff. A war tour. At least his team was, uh, consistent with water Pokemon. So that was kinda nice. You know who would've liked battling all these water Pokemon? Freaking James. James Jr. No! I don't want to... Son of a... Alright, so we need an encounter in here. Do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? Hey, you. It gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. 
That guy who came by earlier, Steven, I think it was. He knew how to use Flash, so he ought to be alright, but well for us hikers. Helping out those that we meet is our motto. Here you go, I'll pass this on to you. Yay, we got Flash, we can't use him, gotta beat this gym, blah 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 blah. Teach that hidden move Flash to a Pokemon and use it. It lights up even the inky darkness of caves. But to use it, you need the gym badge from Doofood's Pokemon Gym. Yeah, I kinda figured, I'm just here to get it. <sighs> well, I wanted that item, but our encounter for this cave is... I am not even mad about that. It's a Crobat. I will take it. It's a fully evolved Pokemon. And on top of that, he's he's fast as shit. One. Don't don't play this game. Holy crick, it, it didn't do much, because it's free and leech life. Holy hell, well, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil anything sunny moonwise. So if you're worried I'm going to spoil something, skip ahead about 10 seconds, because I want to say this real quick. Alright, I'm assuming you skipped ahead if you didn't want to hear it. Free and leech life power jumped up to 80 in sun and moon. Holy shit. Alright, so the spoiler's gone. Alright, so we're gonna throw another Pokeball. If it doesn't work, then we'll attack and intro Pokeball. Okay, it didn't even work. Po- Kappa. Friggin' Troll! Of the Emerald Soul Lock. You just threw away a great encounter. I don't even know what to do with him. A Thunderstone. What the hell good does that do me? I am... I am so fed up. Yeah, there's another Crobat. You wanna kill this one too? You freaking murdering bitch! What else could we have got in here? Is that the only thing? He was snubble. That is so gross! Can't go any farther. Wait, that's Duford. Oh, this is Route 106. All right, let's go ahead and fish. We need, we need another. No. Fuck! I have to go buy Pokeballs. There's no Mart here. This is such trash. This is such fucking trash. Run level. We're on episode six, and we literally have friggin' two Pokemon. All right, let's sell some shit. Um, sure. I don't want dizzy punch. Uh, I wasn't done. I don't want the guard spec. I don't want the X speed. I will keep that Thunderstone. Alright, so we're gonna buy 10, so we get the Premier Ball. And then we're gonna buy another 10, so we'll get another Premier Ball. Hey, you bitch!
Oh my rock! All right. Yeah. All right. So we have plenty of Pokeballs. Hold on. I want to make sure who is who's the stronger Pokemon. Thirty-seven is his attack. Thirty-two is his attack. But it's stab, so I think it's still Cap is Cap is the weaker. At least as far as like. You know, we're trying to attack it and not kill this shit. Alright, our Route 106 encounter is... Ah! Oh my ra! It's a friggin' Scizor! Which, if you don't know me at all, my three favorite Pokemon are, of course, Gengar and Raichu, and the third one is Scizor. Not even in that order. Those three are tied for my favorite. Holy shit! And I know he doesn't get Bully Punch. He's not, you know, a super badass in this game, but I don't even care. A Scizor that makes up for everything- well, not really the Mewtwo or the Kyogre, but it makes up for everything else. Yes. That's fine. Alright, we're gonna grape all this shit out of him. One. Shit. Premier Ball, go! Give him the special shit. One. Scizor, please don't do this. Scizor. Scizor! Alright, forget it. We're using a regular Pokeball, please. It's red. You're red. Alright, it snapped out of confusion. Alright, it's getting pumped. We're gonna switch. We're gonna switch to Cotton Candy. Because he can take a hit better. And we'll use that conversion, and we'll switch to whatever type attack he uses. Yes! <laughs> oh my ra! The Pinsir Pokemon. A Scizor has a body with the hardness of steel. It is not easily phased by ordinary sorts of attacks. It flaps its wings to regulate its body temperature. I have the perfect nickname. I have never had a nickname so fast for a friggin' Pokemon. Uh, because it... I name every single one of my... Well, every single one. I only have, like, two Scizor. Uh, but I named them Curios because he reminds me of, like, the... the Claw, and he reminds me of one of my favorite Gundams from Devil O. Holy shit, we got a Scizor. I am not even friggin' mad. Alright, so let's go ahead and check him out. Or check her out, I'm sorry. It's got a swarm. It's docile, so it's a neutral nature. That's alright. Quick attack, leer, and focus energy. Oh my, wait, wait, what if it can learn Mach Punch? Damn it! Alright, it's worth a shot, it's worth a shot. We are, however, gonna go ahead and give him the Silk Scarf. Or give her the Silk Scarf, it'll make her look pretty. And, uh, I think that's where we're gonna wrap this episode up. We'll get our, our other encounter, um... Uh, well, I was gonna do a grinding montage at the beginning, and you know what? We'll go get we'll go get the other one. We'll go get the other encounter, and then I'll let's put Scizor out front since we don't have to worry about him killing everything or her. And then on the next episode, we'll do a grinding montage. We still have twenty-two Pokeballs. I'm I'm not worried. I'm not worried. And we'll do a grinding montage at the beginning of the next episode. 
Not even a nibble. I don't think so. Not even a friggin' nibble. Alright, so our Route 107 encounter is... A Voltorb. Alright, we'll take it. Oh my raw, look at how Scizor looks. This is so cool. I thought that was gonna one shot. I swore <laughs> I was about to lose my mind. And this will be a nice and easy catch. We'll catch a Pokeball with a Pokeball. Ha <laughs> One. Why? You're in the red. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't make me waste a bunch of Pokeballs. One, two, three, click. Yes! The ball Pokemon. It bears an uncanny and unexplained resemblance to a Pokeball because it explodes at the slightest shock. Even veteran trainers treat it with caution. Alright, so... I have the perfect nickname. I wonder if I spelled that right. Hold on, let's go to... Yeah, that works. No, it's 1G. There we go. Wigington the Voltorb. Alright, so now we're gonna wrap this episode up here. Uh, cause, you know, a little over on the time that I wanted to be. But anyways, uh, if you enjoyed... If you enjoyed my suffering, if you enjoyed us actually getting good encounters, uh, hit that like button down below, subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. Plus. The link for all those is in the description below. As always, remember to save your game, because if you were to lose that data, it would be a shame, and we might not get a friggin' scissor, and that would be complete. That would break my heart. But we're gonna get the frig out of here. We'll see you guys in the next episode.